If you have car insurance, you probably figure you're covered in case of a crash, right? Well, what if the crash is someone else's fault and they don't have insurance or maybe they don't have enough insurance to cover the damages? Well, here to discuss is our AAA insurance expert, Skylar McKinley. Uh, how many people are driving without insurance or not enough coverage? The scope of this problem is really surprising. Nationwide, we know one in eight motorists don't have any insurance coverage whatsoever. In Colorado, even though the law specifically requires you to have insurance, we believe about 15% of drivers don't have any. When you add on the number of motorists who don't have enough coverage, meaning that as crashes become more expensive, they just can't cover the costs, that number's really going up. So all told, as our Colorado grows, as you spend more time driving with more people, the odds are pretty good you're sharing the roads with folks who don't have insurance coverage enough to cover a crash if they were to get in one with you. Right, so you're a driver who's following the rules, who does have enough coverage. What do you do if you're struck by a motorist who doesn't have any or enough insurance? This is why it's really critical to have what we call under or uninsured motorist coverage. It specifically steps in to cover you in the event that somebody else can't pay for the crash that they cause. The most common type and the one you absolutely need to have is called underinsured motorist bodily injury coverage. Coverage, right? It's a lot to say, but it's really easy to consider. What it happens is if you're in a crash with someone who doesn't have coverage, you've got medical bills, you might have funeral expenses, you've got time where you're not at work earning money. Mm -hmm. That coverage steps in and covers all of that. You can also get it for your, your vehicle, your property, but typically collision coverage will step in first. What I recommend to everybody who wants to make sure they've got all their bases covered is have a blend of collision, comprehensive, and then this uninsured motorist coverage to ensure that no matter what happens, you're covered. Right. So many layers to this. How can Coloradans make sure they're covered? Yeah. Yeah, this is a good time to talk to an agent. You might already have this, but it's worth checking in, especially as Colorado grows. You might not have got it 10 years ago when you first got your car. You really want to consider it now. So call an agent. The other mm -hmm. thing I would add is that this also covers pedestrians and bicyclists. So even if you don't drive a whole lot, you're more likely to walk, you still might want to add this uninsured motorist coverage because guess what? If you're struck by a car, you're still going to have those medical bills. Right. You've got to take care of you right. in these situations. All right, exactly. Skyler, thank Thanks. you so much.